All right, there we go. She's back on the car. Looks pretty good, I think. Um, it might be a little light in that area where I did the blend. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell because the sun's refusing to come out today. It's actually looking like it's going to rain today. Again, weird weather for California in the summertime. But it is not immediately obvious that anything was done there. So I think we'll really need the sunlight on it to see for sure. This does look a little light right here, but it blends out well. I can't see a hard edge anywhere. Um, you know, where we went back to the quarter panel here, we didn't touch that, so no blend mismatch there, so that's good. Um, these are the areas I touched up with the cotton swabs. You can still see that there's something there, but you got to look pretty carefully. And I dare say, if you can see the orange peel, it's pretty close to the factory. Um, my orange peel is a little finer. The factories have got a little more coarse orange peel to it, but it looks pretty good. So, if the sun comes out later today, take a look at this and see how it goes. Um, you know, let's look at the repair area there. There's not much to reflect against here, but there's really nothing there right here. Nothing to be seen. So, all in all, came out really good. Um, other than, like I said, we have the runs. Like I said, you can't even see this run right here. It's huge. You gotta get down low see it. Um, there's a bigger run here, right down the side of this panel here. Big ugly one. I think that's the only one that's really in a prominent place. Unless I got one on this side too. Now, you get a this run right here on the top of that surface, which is not a good place for it. But yeah, not too shabby. So, I'll, uh, I'll sit on this video for a while to see if the sun comes up, and if it does, I'll uh, come out and shoot it again in the sun and see if <clears throat> one can tell the difference. Let's see if, if we look at that. This is that. They look pretty similar, I think. Anyway, uh, so if the sun comes out, I'll, uh, I'll add that to the end of this video and then post it, but other than that, I think we're good to go. Thanks, guys. Well, the sun is trying to poke out, but it's too cloudy. So we're not really getting anything. But uh, one thing I didn't show before was how clean this came out in terms of trash or dirt or anything getting in it. Um, hopefully this camera will stay in focus. It's so hard to take a picture of something like this because the... This goes out of focus when you try and get close to one of these areas. You see there's basically not much. There's a little bit of trash right there. Oh, that came off. So there's one little spot. A little micro spot right there. A little bit there. That's actually a scratch, I think, that I didn't get out. And that's it. Oh, well, there's a little bit right there. So for... <laughs> look at this guy runs on here. I didn't see that before. <laughs> Drips. I have to sand that out. Um, Here's that other place I did that little repair right there, too. And again, it's obvious if you look up close, but when you stand back, you don't see it. Um, so as far as trash and junk goes, that came out really well. Yeah, and this is the, the place in here where I was spraying all the base coat and tri-coat and stuff. There's just nothing in there. When I first sprayed it, I was a little worried that there were some spots in here. Uh, there's a tiny little spot back in there somewhere um, but it all came out 
it all leveled out fine. It looked like there was a couple of uh, fish eyes in it, little, little round spots raised up, but they just went away. There's another little spot right there. Yeah, there's a little bit of trash up in here, but not a lot. I see a lot of this trash that I see just wipes off, so it's not really in the paint. So yeah, how about that? Uh, I do wish the sun would come out so I could really see how the the pearl and everything looks here. Yeah, flashlight will do that. All right, so it doesn't look like we're going to get any sun here today. Bugs are out though. Um, so we're going to call this a done deal. Um, wrap it up. Uh, thanks again to everybody for all your help and support. Uh, I'm really happy with how well this came out, giving us the first time I've ever tried this. The repair is flawless. I can't make any complaints about the repair. It's absolutely undetectable. Um, the paint remains to be seen, so we'll have to wait until we get a nice sunny day to really tell. And the clear, um, I think as I said, uh, Matt, Matt and I were going back and forth on this a little bit. I went with the high temperature clear for 85 degrees and up, and I think that may have been the problem. Um, it was really hot, it was pushing 90 degrees earlier in the week, and then the day that I go to spray, the temperature starts to drop, and now it's in the mid 70s, which was not supposed to do that. Um, so, it may have just been too watery, basically, and caused the runs, I don't know. Um, parts of it came out okay, parts of it didn't, but it seemed pretty runny to me that when it went on, I went back and watched the video again of me painting this part and it didn't look to me like I laid that on heavy at all um, but just melted dripped down so I don't know could be the reducer wrong reducer um, as Matt said he would he wouldn't use a high temp reducer on a, on a single panel ever um, what's this is this Sun I see the Sun has started to come out a little bit here there's like shadows on the ground here not a lot of sun. Uh, <laughs> wishful thinking. Looks like the clouds might be moving in the direction of giving me some sun here. So let's hang out here for a second and see. Maybe the sun will actually finally come out. I can start to see little specks of pearls in here. So okay, so here's a little bit. I did blend this around the corner here. I remember a little bit. You can see the pearl in there. It's got the blue and green, all kinds of stuff going on in it. It goes around the corner. You can't see anything happen there. Um, I guess the good news about this surface being uh, vertical is you're never going to get the sunlight hitting it directly on. So it, it hides the any problems with the pearls even more. Um, I don't know if this is coming out in the camera or not. I can see pearl in there now a little bit um, and again I can't tell where the repair happened like I said if anything it does look a little light in the center there but it's very subtle this is just kind of more yellowish over here I don't know if that's coming through on the camera or not but it's very subtle so yeah I think that I got the wrong variant for it. Um, they had three different variants for this. They had uh, the stock, they had a yellowish and a bluish. Um, so darker yellow or lighter blue. And I held the stock and the light blue ones together and they were really hard to tell apart, but the blue one seemed like it was the closer one. But looking at it now, I think that was the wrong choice. But again, it's really subtle. I don't think anybody's gonna notice that. You stand back here and look at the bumper and it's, it's just nothing. And it might just be my own eyes just telling me that it's a different color there. Because <laughs> I, I, it's really tough. If you look at it from the side, I don't know. It's pretty hard. It looks real good. I'm very happy with it. You can see the run's plain as day now though, now that the sun came out, finally. Runs, 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 runs. And this big one 
This is the nastiest one here because it runs right along the side of the panel. So that's going to make it fun to blend out. All right, the clouds are almost gone here. Got a nice patch of blue sky coming. So we'll see if that gets us a better look at the pearls here. I'm going to try angling the camera up from below. Let's see if maybe it helps. So this is the side of the car that I didn't touch. Moving over to the side where the blend was. I can't see what the camera's seeing, so I don't know if this is doing anything or not, but it looks pretty awesome to me. If, if there is anything mismatched there, man, it's, it's splitting hairs. If it came back from a collision shop that way, I would probably be pretty happy with it. So I, I would be very happy with it. I can't see any difference. So, all right, guys, uh, we're gonna call that a wrap. Um, I can't really inspect it any tighter than that. So that's it. Uh, all right, thanks everybody. Uh, appreciate all your comments and feedback, um, especially your support. Um, really great bunch of guys out there always had faith in me that I could pull this off even when I didn't have it myself sometimes but we did it it's done looking great all right guys take it easy I'll talk to you later